Hey, Team Studios here, and for another Microsoft Paint tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to crosshatch or checkerboard shade in Microsoft Paint. And what this style is good for is it's good for spriting for video games, and it's going to give your art that Genesis -y Sonic 2 3 style of shading. Let's begin by zooming in eight times, and let's just start off with a simple circle and we'll fill that circle in red what we're going to do now is make a shading line or a shading circle in this case that will help direct you which where to cross hatch and where not to this is extremely helpful and I doubt you're going to get very good looking results without it, so, you, and especially for beginners, you just, you might as well do this, it's very worth it. And what we're going to do is use the line tool, and basically just make diagonal lines, perfectly diagonal lines, to give it this checkerboard look. And what this is going to do, is it's going to mix the value between these two colors, this darker red and this lighter red, and create sort of an in-between in the shading. So we're just going to keep on doing that till the whole area is full. And there we go. So now our darker crosshatch is filled. Our first shade. So we're going to fill this in with red. And if you want to get a darker value out of this, you can always fill in these extra lighter checker spaces. And it will give you a darker appearance. Okay, so now we have the shaded crosshatch done. Let's do a light shade. So we're going to create a shine in this ball. Let's just create a simple circle. Oops. And we're going to do the same thing that we did with the shading, only this time we're going to cut into the, the light the light part of it instead of creating the dark part. Alright, so now we have the shade and there's the ball. So, like I said before, this is very good for Genesis style games and it gives you a very professional looking effect and what we can actually do is add a darker still a crosshatch within the crosshatch right here so what we're going to do is create a crosshatch in this shade And this will create a even more valued effect, which is very stylistic. So now you have two values, and let's cover up the the areas that we just darkened, so that we don't have too much of a contrasting shade. And there we go. Got a good shaded crosshatch ball. And I'm going to bring up an example of this with a character from one of the games I'm making. Let's copy the image. And this is a character that I'm working on. And as you can see, on the face, I've used crosshatching to give it that styled look. That smooth shaded look on the shading on the head on the shine of the head and on the ears. And also I did this with the robe. 
And that's it. That's how you cross-hatch in Microsoft Paint. Thank you for watching. Peace Studios out.